Hi, it's Anita from Scrappy Happy Mommy, and I'm looking now at card number 34, which is the house card found on page 55 of the manual. I cut the card, the envelope, and the layers at four and three quarter inches, and the phrase at one and a half inches. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So with the envelope itself, there it would be, and also it does come with a liner as well. So I'm going to quickly put that in. And then folding up the sides. Put the other sides in. And there is my envelope itself with a little tree hanging over. So I'm put that aside for a second. Now for the card itself, I cut the card. It's shown in red on the manual, but I cut it today out of brown card stock. And on one side, you can see just like one bump, and then there's two spots for these. Some people think they're trees, the two top ones. Some people think they're clouds. So I've seen uh, projects on YouTube. I've seen projects um, from different bloggers doing them as uh, white and other people doing them as green. So it's whatever your preference is. Today, I'm choosing to do mine as white. So lining this up. And again, much like the camper card, this is going to act as a shadow feature, the card base itself. So there is my card and my card shift feature. For the house, I chose an ivory card stock, just so you can see inside of the house through what you would think to be windows. Go ahead and put that on, covering most of the white. And there it is. For the house shift, I chose a dark brown. In the, in, in the manual itself, it is showing up as brown. And before I put this on, I did want to show you something that I did add to this. In the design that you see in the manual, they just have a cut line for a doorknob, but I am going to put a brad in there, so I used my crocodile right there on its smallest setting to cut that little hole. So I just wanted to let you know that it does cut a doorknob out. It's very, very teeny tiny. And I didn't like how it looked as much as I think the brad's going to look. So there is my house and my house shift feature. Now your first layer is actually what the house is. And there it is right there. And I use a pattern paper, and the pattern paper I use today is by Recollection, and it is called Watercolor Blue Ditzy. And I picked these up last year at Michael's when they usually have their card stock on sale and stocked up because I absolutely love that image. And I knew I was going to love it just on this house, and that was one of the main reasons that I actually picked it up so I'm layering that down right there and there's be my house base itself the next part I'm going to put on is the chimney at the top and I used a burgundy cards uh, cardstock to take out the burgundy that is in the pattern paper and then my window bases what I'm going to put on next. There's the first window, and then the second window. Okay, and the last thing I did is I cut the layer shift feature out twice. One using the burgundy and another using the um, a green cardstock for the tree base. So I'm going to put that on now. And then we're going to go ahead and put the brad on. And if I had to do this card again, I think I would have embossed that tree because of the pattern paper I didn't want it to take it too much so I'll show you how big the doorknob is 
I don't know if you can see it on the end, but it's very, very teeny tiny. And that's where it would go if I wanted the doorknob on. I'm going to use a brad. And I'm just going to lift it a tiny bit because I forgot to do this before. So you would put it on before, of course, I'm doing it today or right now. And I'm just going to stick my crocodile in there. Sometimes we make mistakes. I put the brad in like that. And there it is. Since this card is just for me, there you go. So if you were going to use a brad, you want to do it before you adhere to the card base, okay? Just to let you know. And there it is. Now the sentiment itself I cut out at one and a half inches from the same burgundy cardstock that I use for my layer shift. And you don't have to use these sentiments. Some people use stamp sentiments. I find at times the sentiment's hard to see, but for the videos, I am going to use them. So there it is, the house card cut at four and three quarter inches, and have a great day, and we'll see you again.